the meat, Kindle Grey, the best gun in the game, is the like what in the world dude? Welcome back to your least favorite gaming channel on YouTube. Today I'm going to make a very controversial video and I expect some backlash. Now if you've been following the channel for a while, you will know that I've made a video a little while back called the best gun in the game. Here's the video. In that video, I said the best gun was an M1 Garand, but today I am making a claim that will not be contracted. This is the new best game in the gun, according to me. I don't hardly know anything. I literally just started playing this game like three weeks ago, so I may be wrong, just saying. But to me, Kindle Great. The best gun in the game is not the martini looking 6.5 millimeter jap looking thing. No, it's not. It's not. It's really not. The best gun in the game is the 303 Sporter. Yes, I, 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 I'm not even kidding, guys. Check out, check this out. And we're going to compare that in the M1 Garand, what I previously thought was the best gun in the game. So first, let's look at the gun stats, okay? Accuracy 55. Honestly, I don't know what any of these mean. But I know that some of the stats are maybe better. Maybe it is. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what these stats mean. All I care about is the bullets. 30 out 6 polymer tip, 303 polymer tip. Check this out. 30 out 6, your effective range 164 yards, 11 expansion, 40 penetration. 303 bridge, 164 effective range, 12 expansion, 40 penetration. You get one extra expansion point. Now, do I know if that makes a difference? No, I don't know if that matters or not. But in my opinion, I kind of just like it better. So yeah, that's basically it. We're going to go play around with it. We're going to go play around with both of these rifles today and figure out which one really comes out on top. And apparently we're using the super long range scope, so this will be interesting. All right, boys, let's go. All right, guys, looks like we're going to get to play with my new favorite gun on our first target. A gigantic, and I mean gigantic red deer. Oh my gosh, he's a level seven. He's a level seven. See if he'll stop. Stop, stop, stop. Dude, that had to have killed him. Had to have killed him. Dude, a level seven. That's massive. We'll go ahead and kill one of these little things while we're at it. I don't even know what it is. Should have flattened it. Should have flattened it. We didn't. Okay, cool. Should have flattened it. All right, we did, we did. Oh my gosh, is he still alive? Or is that his brother? There's one bad thing about this scope. It's not the gun's fault, but it kicks hard. Let me go ahead and go prone, and maybe I can kill one of them. Oh, yeah, I got her. Oh, it kills, though, baby. It still kills, especially the little, smaller kind of deer. Rips them to shreds. That's what I like about it. And not to mention the iron sights on this. Like, listen, imagine this. You're in the plains. A stinking bison's chase, ran, trying to run you over. Boom, you switch over. Look at these irons. Look at these irons. The irons. They just something different. Now, don't get me wrong. The M1 Garand's irons are pretty epic, too. I mean, look at those irons. It's still pretty good, but I prefer the infields. Now, maybe I'm biased towards the 303 because I got like six of them and I've only got one M1 Garand. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased. Hey, there's a deer. Dude, they do not care. What do you do? Reload fast and get on that other one. Butt shot will kill it. The butt shot missed it. Okay, that ain't good. Are you going to die or not? Okay, it died. Bet. Dude, this gun stinking rips. Here's this little baby looking thing. Killed it. Then... Oh my, look, what in the world? That has to be a diamond. Bruh. He's a level seven. Like, what are you doing? What could I have done better? What could I have done better? Bruh. You know what? I hate to disrespect animals, but we ain't going and getting that, okay? It ain't, my, it, ain't, it ain't worth my time. What was that? See, look, I got deer close. Pull up the irons. Pull up the irons. And boom, just like that. Put the Carol Baskins on him. Yo, 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 yo. Boom, stinking hammer tied him. I was over here looking on my computer trying to find some 300 Win Mag. Here he comes. Boom. 
dead. Rest in pieces, Brittany. Hey, I hit her twice. How did I do that? I don't know, guys, but right now I'm going to head up this way to my hot spot. Man, it is a good spot, man. If you don't know, we're actually on the New Zealand map, and right over here in the very top part of the map, is a hot spot for all kinds of stuff. It's got these pretty rocks. It's even got a castle. But boy, oh boy, it looks nice. And there's always deer here. There's usually some red stags. There's usually a bunch of some kind of deer. I think fallow deer, maybe. I have no idea, though. We'll test the killing power of each. That's exactly what we'll do. We will pick out two red stags, take one shot each with the M1 Garand and the new 303, and we will find out which one kills the animal faster. <laughs> All right, guys, forget the test. Should we do how many Sitka deer can a M1 Garand go through at once? <laughs> All right, so the M1 Garand did drop it immediately, so you got to give that some credit. What is that? Is that a moose? Oh, oh, there's a good red deer. There's a really nice red deer. Really nice red deer. I'm gonna go prone and just think and launch it with the with the Brit. I tried, guys. I don't like this scope. Oh, I dropped it! What in the world? Stinking dropped a red deer. Pretty sure I got a neck shot on it too, so that is weird. I didn't drop that one, but he's dying real quick. See? Watch, watch, watch. We'll watch him die. Okay, maybe not. Okay, okay. Okay, young one, keep going, keep running. Okay, okay. Prove us wrong one time. Do not stop in the name of love. Just keep going. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I did it. It's too easy, man. It's too easy out here. Look at that. Stinking dropping level four deer all day. <gasps> and there's more. Could I headshot him? Nah, it's probably, probably not. And let's try it. Come on, big boy. Let's go see if we hit him. Probably not. I didn't expect to kill him right there, but I do think it was worth a chance. I did not kill him. Yeah, that's just a bad shot. That didn't even make sense. All right, guys, so look, I've got Abram up here showing him my gaming setup. You can see yourself over here, kind of. But listen, I just I just spawned into the game and up on top of this rock, and I'm pretty sure I'm glitching the game somehow, but these, these goats are just like not moving at all, and I'm just like, Racking up free kills all day, and I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep killing them, guys. I don't know what's up with the game, but like, you're getting to see the infields iron sights in action right here, right now. Dude, what in the world just happened? Let's just go one. Let's go count one, two, three, four, five. Dude, I've already lost count. I don't know how many there is, but like, there's a bunch. You watched me kill them, now you're watching me collect them. It's just a money bath, dude. Like, I don't know if this is good for the environment. Probably not, but I don't care, dude. Like, bro, this is free money. I'm literally about to be a billionaire. Like, what in the world, dude? The game literally glitched out so bad right there. What in the world? Anyways, guys, I'm not even supposed to be playing the game right now. I was just coming to show Abram what's up with this. And just like, straight up, I just like, I just like started glitching out with goats, so I... Take my opportunity, stick and wipe them out, son. And boom, I literally, oh my gosh. I went from $90,000 to $138,000 within like five minutes. So like, now look at the look at the hunting pressure. It's literally bright purple. It's gonna take forever to get that gone. But yeah, guys, basically that's it. 